Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis. The bones, ligaments and tendons that make your shoulder joint are covered by a capsule of connective tissue. In frozen shoulder, this capsule gets tight causing pain, stiffness and limited mobility in your shoulder joint. There is no known cause of frozen shoulder. However, people who have diabetes or who have had to immobilize their shoulder because of surgery or fracture are more likely to get frozen shoulder. Today, I'm going to be showing you five exercises that will help improving your shoulder mobility and help with your recovery. So let's get started. The first exercise I'm going to show you is called pendulum exercise. This is a good exercise to perform when your shoulder is inflamed and painful. For this we will be needing a chair or you can also use a table if you have one in your home. You just start by leaning over on the chair. I'm going to pretend that my left shoulder is affected and painful. So you just lean forwards and try to move your shoulder in small circles. Once you're more comfortable doing this, you can increase the size of your circles to improve your shoulder joint mobility. Keep doing this every day and make sure you don't have any pain when you do this. The second exercise that I'm going to show you is called finger ladder. For this exercise, you're going to stand facing the wall and pretend that your fingers are climbing a ladder. Try to do this as slow as you can. As you can see, you're using your fingers and the wall to try to improve your shoulder joint mobility. You can also use a small marker with a pen or a pencil and every day you do it, you can mark the higher you go, the more improvement you're having in your shoulder movement. The next exercise that I'm going to show you is called towel pull. People who have frozen shoulder have difficulty reaching their back, especially this movement when you reach back, either to edge, take a shower or getting dressed. For this exercise, we'll be needing a towel or a bed sheet. Hold one end with your strong arm and try to grab the other end with your painful arm. And then try to raise up and down. Just like you would use a towel to wipe your back. As you can see here, I'm using my right arm, which is the strong arm, to improve the movement on my left arm, which is the painful one, and improve its mobility. The next exercise that I'm going to show you is called stick elevation. People with frozen shoulder have difficulty raising their arm up. Usually this is painful and stiff. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our stronger arm to help improve that movement. For this we'll be needing a stick or a cane. Since I don't have any of that, I'm going to use an umbrella. You start with holding your stick or cane on both ends and then you try to raise your arm up and slowly lower down. Try to use your stronger arm help lift the painful shoulder. If you're not able to do this or if it's too painful for you to do this exercise, you can just change your hand positions and use your stronger arm to push the painful arm up and slowly get it down. Keep the movement as gentle as possible as per your tolerance within your pain limits. The last exercise that I'm going to show you today is called wall slides. This exercise will help improve your shoulder joint mobility sideways. People who have frozen shoulder are not able to lift their arm to the side. They usually tend to bend sideways while lifting their arm up. So we are going to use the support of a wall to improve that movement. So you start by standing sideways along the wall. Place your hand on it and slowly keeping your back straight Try to slide your hand up as high as you can go and slowly lower down. 
if this is not very painful and if you're able to go higher you can try to lean on it to get extra stretch you can also hold in this position for 20 seconds and then slowly lower down that's the end of my video for today. I hope these exercises were helpful to you and help with your recovery. I will see you next time and take care everyone. Bye.